Pyroelectric sensors have been used widely in the laser industry for many years for measuring pulse energy. They allow measurement of individual pulse energy or pulse-to-pulse -pulse variation for rapidly pulsing lasers, something that cannot be done with thermal sensors. They're also not limited to visible or near IR wavelengths as photodiodes are, allowing measurements from the UV into the far IR and terahertz regions. Ophir has recently introduced a new series of pyroelectric OEM sensors based on the Pyro-C line of standard pyroelectric sensors, which itself was introduced in 2011. In this video, we'll have a look at the various options available to customers and the considerations for using one or another in different types of applications. First of all, it's worth knowing a few things about the capabilities of the Pyro-C line of sensors in general. They can measure energy from 10 picojoules to more than 40 joules, depending on the specific choice of sensor. High repetition rates, up to 25 kilohertz. Long pulse widths, up to tens of milliseconds as standard. They have an adjustable trigger threshold. In a case where external noise is causing false triggering of the sensor, this allows you to adjust the trigger threshold to just the right level so you can keep the noise out and let just the pulses in. Now let's look at OEM solutions based on the Pyro-C line of sensors. These new OEM sensors are based on a standard base design and they're configured digitally. Therefore, they can give the customer greater flexibility in output options than was available in the past, while at the same time requiring less engineering effort. This means a faster time to market than was previously possible. At the same time, Ophir can offer customized mechanical configuration so the sensor solution can fit into limited spaces. Various levels of integration are possible depending on your needs. The Ophir line of OEM sensors includes several options. Option 1, raw analog output or so-called dumb sensors. This type of sensor is the simplest and cheapest solution for applications where low cost is a priority and no special functionality is required. The sensor offers direct connection to the raw signal of the pyroelectric detector itself, where the output voltage is proportional to the laser pulse energy. These sensors have no electronics, with the exception, if needed, of some passive components for adjustment of the sensitivity. The sensor can be offered with or without a measured calibration factor. Option 2, standalone OEM sensors. These are complete standalone sensors that include integrated electronics with analog, RS-232 or USB output that can interface remotely with the customer's host system. Various formats of output and control input are available. Analog output. These sensors can be configured with a given sensitivity such as one volt per joule, for example. Other parameters can also be programmed in, such as hold time. The output voltage pulse is held for a given time and then reset, or held until the next pulse, and so on. RS-232 output and control input. For example, to enable selecting from among multiple scales and or wavelengths. Analog output combined with RS-232 control input and also output in parallel to the analog output if needed. In cases where no RS-232 connection is available for controlling the sensor, control can be set up via a designated pin which is switched either high or low. This control pin can be used, for example, for choosing between two energy scales, two wavelength settings, or two options for maximum pulse width, for example. Where an RS-232 link is available, more flexible control of all these parameters can be set up since the choices are then not only binary. In all these cases, power must be provided separately to the sensor, for example, at 9 volts or 12 volts DC. A USB link instead of RS-232 is also an option. The electronics can be integrated inside the sensor body or external. A third option available is a smart plug OEM sensor, which connects to a smart meter, such as the Vega or Starlight, 
via a standard D15 smart plug. We call these smart because all calibration and related data for each sensor is stored in the circuitry in the plug. This smart plug OEM sensor is a variation on our standard line of Pyro-C catalog sensors, but with some modifications specific to each customer. Modifications to the standard sensors might include one or more of the following. Calibration at only certain specific wavelengths, a specific set of energy scales, changes in mechanical design, for example, a very small sensor with a remote electronics module. To learn more about this subject, you're welcome to download the OEM Pyro Sensor white paper from the tutorial section of our website. Contact your local Ophir representative to see how we can help you with your application. Mm -hmm.